you can do this. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Before I share this wonderful recipe on how you're gonna make garlic dill pickles, super crunchy, super fantastic. Why not visit us on our dedicated YouTube channel? When you're there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also drop us comments if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And then finally click that bell button. We'll notify you every time we post a brand new video. Today it's all about canning. And if you've never canned before, click up here to visit Weekend at the Cottage. We have a really quick tutorial on how to do home canning safely. Principal ingredient for every pickle recipe is cucumbers. I'm using number twos. They're about two inches long into the sink. It's important to wash each and every one individually. If you come upon one that's kind of mushy, you need to discard it. Otherwise, it's in your hands. You're gonna rub each cucumber, making sure to remove any soil or any debris. Once all of the cukes are washed, we're transferring them onto a clean towel. And I graduate them by size, tiny, medium, and then that full two inch. Uh, the different sizes will help when you place them into the jars. Talking about the jars, we're gonna take our jars and sterilize them. We invert into the dishwasher. We're gonna run a full cycle with no soap. The lids and rings come off, lids into one small pot with water, the rings into another with water. While the jars are sterilizing, we're prepping some additional ingredients. I have the heads off of dill weed. I also chop up a little bit of the stock as added flavor. Three heads of garlic peeled and sliced. I also have some spicy bird's eye chili peppers, more about those in a moment. The other thing we can do now is prepare our brine. 12 cups of water, we're adding four cups of pickling vinegar. I have three quarters of a cup of pickling salt, and then family secret, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. We then stir the brine mixture together till the sugar and salt dissolve. Just a thing to note, you're gonna need to make this brine twice in order to fill all of the jars for this recipe. Once the jars are sterilized, we're transferring them onto the work surface. We're gonna add the head from the dill weed, a couple little bits of stock for added flavor. We're gonna add a handful of our sliced garlic, don't be skimpy. I'm also dropping in eight to 10 black peppercorns into each jar. Into half of the jars, I also added one small bird's eye pepper, didn't cut it, left it whole. It'll give those pickles a nice little bit of heat and zip. Now we're taking our cucumbers, we're gonna add them into each jar, standing upright, and you just add your cukes in, and you're gonna need to squeeze them in there into the bottom. You might have to twist a pickle, sometimes it's like, oh, it's not going in there, and, but if you just kind of push, eventually they do. First layer goes in, and then a second layer, leaving a little bit of headroom right at the top. Once the jars are stuffed, we're gonna bring our brine to a boil. We also have our lids and rings sterilized. I've also sterilized the funnel. The funnel goes on top of the jar. We're gonna ladle in the brine all the way to the top, a tiny bit of headroom. Then we transfer our sterilized lid, finger tight twisting the rings onto the next jar. You're gonna fill all the way along halfway through. You're gonna need more brine, so make another batch of brine and then finish things off. Lids are on, rings are on. Now it's time for that last step, which is the actual canning of the jars. We have a pot with boiling water. I do four jars at a time, making sure they're completely submerged. I like to take my pickles out when they're still a bit mottled. You can see a little bit of brilliant bright green left. As the jars cool though, they'll turn a nice uniform color. Once the lids pop and the pickles cool completely, a final detail all about presentation because they make such wonderful gifts. We're taking circles of craft paper, pull it down over the lid, a little bit of butcher string, and you're good to go. These do make wonderful gifts. I wish I had one for each and every one of you. Instead, it's up to you to make garlic dill pickles yourself. Get going, it's a worthy endeavor I know you're going to enjoy. After that, come on back and visit Weekend at the Cottage again soon. It's all about good food, good friends, and good times. We'll see you again. Wish I had one for you right now. <laughs>